Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Sagittarius reading, December 7th to the 11th. There's a whole bunch of Sagittarius out there, so this is not going to be every single Sagittarius story, okay? Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energies. I could always be talking to a cross-watcher, okay? So let's see, Sagittarius, December 7th to the 11th. Sagittarius, December 7th to the 11th. Number seven to the eleventh Sagittarius. One more to the Sagittarius. Number seven to the eleven. Okay, Sagittarius, your intuition might be really popping right now. You know, um, your psychic, your clairvoyance, and uh, there could be wow. So major changes in store for your finances uh, because you're starting to open up more of your gifts. One moment. How do I? Ah. Wait, I don't want to get... Okay, there you go. <laughs> I didn't want to get flagged uh, for a song coming on. Um, okay, so, yeah, you're starting to open up your third eye, and what your spiritual health is your wealth, okay? So that that's pretty much the secret to life, you know, and how to, um, like, un, you know, the key to life to unlock, like, unlimited abundance and to unlock, like, you know, all that is, yeah. So with the sacred chakra here, um, you could be... Looking, see, moving on from life's desires, you know, all the things that you're wanting, all your desires in life, I feel like you're letting, uh, you're just letting go of the attachments and you're learning to go with the flow. Uh, people could be quite jealous of you. Um, I feel like that's people. I don't feel like that's you because Sagittarius are like very lucky, upbeat people and they kind of always mind their business. So, um, yeah, see, so I feel like your person here, the person that you're dealing with, the obstacles and challenges card here, as well as the fulfillment of wishes. See, they feel like there's a break here to get to you. It's like there's there's something that they have to cross in order to get to you. And this they could be just jealous of where you're at in your life, you know. Um, you could be, you know, leaving this person because they're no longer what you want or you're wanting to travel, just you're wanting things in life. And it could be in regards to a job. You could be traveling for a job as well. So let me see. Sagittarius, December 7th to the 11th. One more shuffle, Sagittarius, December 7th to the 11th. Okay, Sagittarius. So we have the Ten of Swords here, Sagittarius. And, um, okay, the Star card. And the Knight of Cups. Okay, Sagittarius. So I feel like someone's keeping the faith and being able to revive this situation. You know, maybe it ended, a cycle ended where you were just so tired and just done, just finished. And now with the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, you know, I feel like you don't really know um, what you want with this person. But you know you want success. You want a family. Ten has a lot to do with family. And you could be in the public eye. You could get a lot of attention. And that could be why you're just choosing to focus on yourself, you know. Um, I feel like you're cutting off people who cannot, who do not bring this, like, happiness and success. You know, it's kind of like, I feel like, you know, you've just been kind of surrounded by negativity. There you go. Um, so your person here could be wanting a new beginning, but they could just be moving very slow, okay. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck, to be honest with you. It's very slow moving. So they could be wanting this new beginning with you, but they're taking, like, forever, and then here with the Emperor card, you could be dealing with an Aries as well. They could be very controlling or very emotionally detached. But I feel like they're learning how to control. Um, well, first off, they're with the King of Swords here. They they could see things very clearly. And with the Two of Cups, they, you know, they could be telling you, I want something with you also. I want to be with you. I want you in my life. So, but with the Page of Wands here, okay, they have good ideas. But I feel like they never follow through. Like, you know, they never fulfill a promise. They never, you know, things like that, okay? With a page of wands upside down, you could be getting a message from this someone, but they might be telling you something that you just want to hear, you know? So what is this page of um, uh, the, 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 the. Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius? Yeah, you see, the, move, the reason why they're taking their sweet time, <laughs> wow, okay, <laughs> for some reason I wanted his sweet-ass time, like, okay, why so mm, direct, but... 
The reason why they're taking their sweet ass time, I guess, that's what I heard, is because they're hurt. Okay, they're heartbroken, they're holding, over what? <laughs> over what, Sagittarius, let's see. Okay, because they don't like the distance between you guys either. They don't like this waiting and, what was that? Oh, okay, my TV just, what? Okay, I don't know. Um, it's having ads on there, that's why. It, it just tripped me out. Uh, but with the three of um, wands, your, your person is hurt from the distance, you know, that they're tired of waiting. And I just want to make sure that that emperor card is a good emperor. Yeah, it's a good emperor, okay? They changed. I feel like whatever BS that they were still going through, that they've mastered it, okay? with the You could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. I feel like they've learned to, like, put a cap on that and transform that. Um, here on your side, what is this need for structure? What is the Seven of Cups here? Okay, your happiness. Your happiness. Okay, you might be feeling like, I need to find my happiness. But truth is, Sagittarius, is you already have that within you. Okay, I feel like you just have to be patient. You know, you probably are getting, why with Five of Swords, Sagittarius? Okay. Yeah, so you might be getting fed up with waiting for someone to have a partnership with you where you're like, you know what? The heck with you, man. I'm just going to worry about myself <laughs> with this nine of pentacles. You know what I mean? You're just like, I'm just going to me, myself, and I, I guess. <laughs> you know, um, that's really the energy that I'm feeling. So I feel like, you know, you want this person, but you might just, you know, I don't even give a F anymore. Like, I will just do my own thing for now. And whenever you want to come around... Uh, you know, yeah, intuition. Your intuition might be telling you just to be patient that this person is looking up at the light. The light to me card has a lot to do with having a spiritual awakening. So you're grounded and um, you know what you want. The solar plexus chakra has a lot to do with um, uh, knowing that you can. So you have the guts, you know, you believe that you can and you probably know that this person is going to come back. So I'm going to now use the romance angels as well. Could also be dealing with another Sagittarius or Leo. So... Sagittarians, December 7 to the 11th. Two more shoppers, Sagittarians, December 7 to the 11th. Last shuffle, Sagittarians, December 7 to the 11th. Sagittarians, December 7 to the 11th. Children. So, yeah, there was some, like, childhood trauma that you guys probably had to heal, you know, because it says your love life is being affected by children. And you deserve love. You are lovable. So maybe you knew that about this person, especially with this page of wands here. This is someone who's kind of childlike, okay? Pages have a lot to do with children. So maybe you knew that this person's inner child was a little bit distorted. And so you were like, you know, I, I'm just, you know, I know it's not that this person, um that I don't deserve love, I know it's just this person has issues, you know, type of thing that you might have noticed. And so you learn to just let go of control issues and go with the flow. But your person, I feel like they need to learn that too, okay? Yeah, see, wedding. Oh my gosh, wow. You could also be dealing with a baby daddy or you could be a baby daddy, right? Take it how it resonates. I apologize for the neighbor's dog. That's not my dog. Um, but with the wedding here, it's this situation involves marriage. I feel like your person is learning how to change to be that father figure. But there do there does need to be more playfulness here. You guys might be a little bit too serious. Okay, guys? All right. I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. If this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.